So recently I was navigating through Amazon and I came across this Hori Hori Japanese gardening knife. And when I saw it, I thought this might be an alternative for the shovel that I usually take into the woods. Uh, the shovel has been pretty heavy, although it's very useful. Maybe this might be an alternative, a little bit lighter and perhaps some dual purpose. So let's dive in. Let's get on with this video. I can't stand intros. Greetings everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Johnny. I'm gonna talk about the Hori Hori. I picked this up on Amazon not too long ago and I was just waiting for the time to talk about it. I haven't taken it into the woods yet. I'm thinking this might be a good alternative to that shovel. So all I'm gonna do in this video is just do a quick overview and take a look at it. Start off with this uh, leather sheath. It's actually not bad quality. I thought it'd be really cheap. This thing is made in China, but you can see that it's not too bad. I checked out quite a few of these before I paid the, I think it was $30 Canadian or something like that. It's got the rivets, which is good. It's going to be a lot more durable. I've seen some that um, only have the stitching and they tend to fray away when the uh, tool is inserted into the sheath. Black iron tools. Uh, the other reason why I chose this one is because it's a full tang and you'll see that in a second once I take it out of the sheath. Good clip. And um, yeah, I could see this being useful. Um, like I said, this could be a good alternative in the woods, but I won't know until I do an Into the Woods video on this tool. So let's take it out. And it's got a nice snug fit. I'd say the quality of the sheath is not bad. I'd give it a, I don't know, 7 out of 10 or something like that. So here's the tool itself. I'm not sure what type of wood this is on the handle, but it seems not too bad. The fit and finish is it, it is what it is, as much as I hate saying that phrase, but I think that phrase will fit in this particular case. I encourage people to stop using that phrase, even though I just set a very bad example. Now you can see on this tool, it's concave, so it's kind of like a digging implement. And let's do some quick numbers for you while well, I got a tape measure nearby. Overall, this is exactly 12 and a quarter inches or 310 millimeters. And in this case here, we're at seven inches or uh, it looks like 176 millimeters. The handle is coming in at five and a quarter inches or 133 millimeters. Handle thickness is about 20 millimeters or three quarters of an inch. And the width is about an inch and a quarter or 30 millimeters. Total width here is 40 millimeters or about an inch and five eighths. It's actually very, very light. It's got a good balance, kind of a blocky handle, but this is more of a digging tool. Now you can see we've got some measurements going on here. I guess it is a very handy tool for gardening. I don't consider myself a gardening at this point of my life, but you never know, might come down the road. But I'm thinking in the woods for many uses actually, that I would use that shovel. It stores away a little bit easier. We've got a really aggressive, really aggressive serration going on here. Probably won't last long as soon as you start digging in the roots and you know where I go in the woods there's always little rocks out there as well so I could see that kind of going now this side here is also very sharp I'm not going to do any paper cutting or any of that kind of thing I'm just trying to give you an idea of what you're getting here 
Now, as far as the steel is concerned, it's probably just a, a cheap stainless, but I think for what I paid and what I'm going to use it for, this could be a good alternative uh, for when I go into the woods again. So not bad quality. Not bad. Not bad. I think the reviews of these things on Amazon were coming mostly from people who work as gardeners full time or um, maybe they're arborists or something like that. They're always, they've got a, a series of tools. This is one of them that they highly recommended. I know very little about these. I have not even looked at any YouTube videos or anything. I'm going in completely uh, naive on this, I guess. And that's exactly the way I like to do my testing and reviews. So I'm gonna take this one into the woods coming up very soon. Probably do its own video, but we'll see. If you're into this type of thing and all the other things that I do on this channel, please think about sticking around with us. I haven't been doing a lot of videos the last little while. I'll tell you why coming up very soon, maybe in its own video. And um, other than that, that's the Hori Hori. Let's bring the box back. Many different types out there. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye for now.